One thing that often concerns people when doing slip roads is not having a gap as you're about to merge. As you've built your speed, and the concern is you might have to suddenly stop. This, however, is not going to happen. Look at the signs here. They tell us we're merged onto a three lane road. We are just looking to go into the left lane. So there are two lanes free for the cars already on the carriageway to move into to help us out. They may also reduce their speed to help us to merge in. Bear in mind though, they will only reduce their speed if we are at a similar speed to them. If we're going 30 and they're going 60, they're not going to slow down for us. But if we're doing 50 and they're doing 60, they might well slow down to help us out. Even if the cars didn't move lane to help us out, or didn't slow their speed sufficiently, there will still be gaps between the cars, like shown in this picture. The green arrows represent the following distance between the cars. There will be gaps between them. So as long as we're doing about 60, and they're doing about 60, we can just merge into the gaps between the cars. This diagram represents the blind spot. The red area is your blind spot. You'll notice if you don't look in your blind spot, you won't notice the cars coming until very, very late. The green area is what you see in your mirrors. When you check your blind spot, make sure you keep your shoulders in your seat, and just move your neck, like shown. Don't take your shoulders out of your seat, as you could accidentally steer and swerve. Another thing we need to be confident with doing slip roads is being confident to make the engine rev and build speed. This is a picture of the rev counter, telling you how much the engine is revving. Often when we first learn to drive, we're taught as soon as the engine revs slightly, change gears. As soon as it revs slightly again, change gears. This would be bad practice for a slip road. We need the engines rev hard to build speed. And as long as we're only revving it hard for a short while, it's not going to cause any damage. But if you ever were concerned, it's only going to cause damage if the revs went to the red area. That's very unlikely. So revs are only going to the red area if you're doing about 70 miles an hour in gear 3. We're not going to be building that much speed in gear 3. We should have merged on by that point. As I come down the slip road, I'm in gear 3 to build speed. I'm firmly on the gas, and then starting to check my mirrors and blind spot. Noticing the van, checking again the mirrors, he's staying back, so it's safe to move in front of him. Final check, he's staying back, so it's safe to move in front of him. Now that I've merged onto the dual carriageway, I'm changing to gear 4, and then to gear 5. I'm firmly on the gas, in gear 3, building speed. Checking my mirrors and blind spot, checking ahead, checking my mirrors and blind spot, and checking ahead again. And one final check, and it's still completely clear to merge on. And now just change up my gears into gear 5. Here's a different slip road, but the same principles. I'm firm on my gas, going to gear 3 and staying in gear 3 to build speed. Keep pressing my gas firmly. And then start to check my mirrors and blind spot. Checking ahead, and mirrors and blind spot. Ahead, and mirrors and blind spot. And it's safe to merge on. And now, changing into gear 4 and then into gear 5. Coming down the slip road, again, building my speed, firmly on the gas, into gear 3, staying in gear 3. Starting to check my mirrors and blind spot, see what's coming. Looking ahead and checking my mirrors and blind spot. Looking ahead and mirrors and blind spot and it's safe to merge on. I'm changing up my gears now. Here is a slightly shorter slip road. So I'm not looking to build speed here, I'm looking to approach with caution. So I'm checking my mirrors, see what's happening in the left lane. I notice there is a car coming, but he's far back and he's holding back. So I'm going to gently merge in front of him. And now I'm on. And now, seeing the car's in front braking, so I'm starting to brake as well, because there's a roundabout coming up. Another short slip road coming up. Again, I'm not looking to build speed, 
because I won't be able to match the speed of the cars because of the sharp corner and the shortness of the slip road. So I'm in gear two and approaching with a bit of caution, being ready to slow if there's something fast in the left lane. Starting to check my mirrors and blind spot. The left lane's clear at the moment. Mirrors and blind spot again. Still clear. Final check. I have another short slip road coming up. We can tell it's going to be quite short because typically they have sharp corners on approach like we have here. This is to make sure you're coming slow and with caution into it because we will not be able to build speed to match the speed of the traffic. So coming around the corner in gear two with a bit of caution being ready to give way as cars come in fast. Checking mirrors and blind spot, see there's cars coming fast so I'm going to let them pass. Checking mirrors and blind spot again, it's clear off to the red one. Now firmly on my gas to build the speed. Into gear three. Firmly on my gas in gear three to build speed. Then into gear four. Firmly on the gas. Then into gear five. 